Hello everyone. My name is Xue Songjia, a graduate student from Nanjing University of Post and Telecommunications. I'm really sorry for that I can't attend this significant conference for some reasons. So I made this video presentation to introduce my team's work on SDN, also called Software Defined Network. My team members are Dan Yi Ren, Yi Tao Yang, Hua Kang Li, and Guo Zi Sun. Today, my topic is a distributed flexible intrusion prevention system in software defined network. The outline of this topic as shown follows. First, it will be some background on software defined network. Then, I will give some introduction on intrusion prevention system. Then, it's the main point of this topic. The distributor is the distribute flexible intrusion prevention system. After that. I will give some conclusion and future works. First, Software Defined Network, STN. What is STN? STN is an exacting technology that enables in innovation in how we design and manage network. A STN consolidates the control plan so that a single software control program can control multi data plan elements such as routers, switchers, and the middle box. Uh, SGN has two main characteristics. One is SGN sep separates the control plan from the data plan and the other is SGN consolidates the control plan. <coughs> Why is SGN coming from? In traditional networks, there are many disadvantages such as difficult to change bad compatibility and inconvenient management. As we know, in traditional network, when business requirements change, modify the configuration of network elements are very difficult and very tedious. So, how to overcome this disadvantage is very tough. Some scientists like McCollin find a solution to this disadvantage and the SGN emerged. SCN make network more programmable and lower the barrier to innovation. SCN controlized and uh, 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 SCN realized a controlized and convenient management. Also, there are some changes in SGN, especially in security area, such as traffic control, single point failure, attack. There are uh, all these challenges are exist in traditional networks too, 
international network, there are some solutions such as depo deployed some security devices such as firewall, intrusion detection system, IDS, uh, intrusion prevention system, IPS. Usually, IPS is most popular than firewall or IDS because of its comprehensive ability of flexible detection and valid prevention. Now, we will I will do some intro. I will give some introduction on intrusion prevention system. In traditional networks, IPS is mainly to detect abnormal traffic and prevent the abnormal traffic. Usually, the IPS are deployed at the edge of the trust internal network, and there are two kind of connection showing this figure. In traditional networks, IPS is interfaced in the traffic forwarding, just like the, the figure A. On these situations, all the traffic that went to pass through the switch need to be detected. It provides the promote response to the abnormality, but also prolongs the delay of every session, especially some sessions request re repeatedly. Uh, traffic monitoring, like figure B, is a better choice to reduce delay in traffic forwarding. But it has a bad impact impact on response time. The sh As we know, the IPS in traditional networks are deployed at the edge of the the at the edge of the internal network and the all the uh, and the only focus on the uh, the point where they deploy deployed deployed uh, and the only focus on the point where, where they deployed 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 the so there are many shortcomings such as on balance load, suboptimal utilization rate, single point detection, and local concern. Now, we will talk about our proposed distribu distributed flexible intrusion prevention system. Our goal is to employ is to uh, arrive a flexible deployment of RPS and do low interference to traffic and achieve a fine granted detection and its distributed processing. We print IPS as a as an application running on the SDN controllers. We call it DFIPS. This means DFIPS has access to the network. All communication between SDN controller and switches will pass through the DFIPS 
and defects can expect all this wanting, wanting to pass through switches. In this picture, OFS represents the open flow, in open flow enabled switch architecture of the fifth. The fifth have three portions a, a classifier, a detection pole, and a control agent. The classifier is in charge of selling traffic into to improve the resource as uh, to improve resource allocation and realize a fine gen grant distributed detection. We pro we proposed a modified flow visual serving as a transport transparent proxy between switches and the detection nodes to imply to implement net network slicing to implement network slicing. The detection pool has several detection nodes that each one consists of collection submodel, analyze submodel, decision submodel. The control agent interacts with classifier detection pool as well as high level action controller APPs and open flow switches. The control agent modifies the modify uh, modif the control the control agent monitors and uh, controls the running state state of the classifier and the detection pool. The this figure shows a single example of table adding which made which makes the exciting flow entrance route to the FIPS. Figure A shows a uh, original flow enter table A whose path is ingress one to export two. Figure B shows a uh, uh, figure B displays that after modifying the original original flow table, a new table, table D5, is created. The packet is copied to D5 with the help of a command go to D5, while the original table is still works. Then the D5 table forwards the traffic out to export port 3. The TTL of the fixed table is the same as original table A. Now, is the detailed process of the fifth. First, sliding traffic into several slides and forward the slides to detection pool in where gener generates co corresponding number of detection nodes. Then, collection submodel in detection nodes will store the digital information on each slice. Then, after that, after the slice of traffic received the analyzed submodel, the analyzed submodel will inspect it with several methods. 
such as high speed deep packet inspection and flow level detection. The decision submodel will give suggestions responding to the analyzed results. If a uh, abnormally if, a, if an abnormality is not defined, is not found, the defects control agent will control the packet forward to the upper, upper level controller pl platform for normal process. Further, if detection uh, an abnormality and concluding that the packet is malicious, the defects contro the defect controller agent will send job command of the malicious packet to the related open flow switches. If not, a count of this packet would be recorded as special traffic and increase at once. The control agent will modify the flow entrance to make sure that all this that make sure that all this special traffic would be forward to defects. While the control while the count is higher than a given threshold value, threshold high value. Decision submodel will stress the defects control agent to do appropriate QS such as with uh, such as with limitation when forwarding the packet. Otherwise the packet would be forwarded to up level controller Plan platform just like normal traffic. Defects will <coughs> because the detection process into local database and update their shared remote database for further analyzing. We built a test bed using Pox controller, Pox controller and Minnet. In our test bed, a modified node is utilized to simulate to is to is utilized to simulate a detection node and IPS. In this, in these two topologies. OF1, OF2 are open float enabled switches. We we evaluate the two form of two form of IPS connections. In traffic interference framework, the first pin is 11.04 MS, while the second pin is 6.56 MS. In tra traffic monitoring framework, the first pin time is 10.86 MS. While the second pin time is 0 0.862 ms. After the first pin, a flow rule is created and stored in open flow switches. This implies that the second pin time does not have the flow rule setup time, so the second so the second pin time reduced largely.
is it consistent with the theorems in open flow? The pin term in second pin different the difference in second pin implies that traffic monitoring is much better than traffic interference. Then we evaluate the performance of two con uh, two situations. One is sliding the traffic into several slices. The other is without slicing. The results shows that with slicing the new flow time the new flow rule setup time is much smaller than without slicing. It demonstrates that slicing traffic into several uh, detection nodes has better performance. Uh, we, we present a distributed flexible intrusion prevention system in software-defined network. The D5 has several advantages. The D5 decodes the location. The D5 realizes the monitoring without repetitive rep deployment, and the cooperation of different Defibs can realize an uh, optimal utilization rate. With the tech, with the help of slicing, we can easily easily achieve the fine granted detection. Uh, we also can achieve the distributed processing by cooperation with other defects. Future work. In future, we would imply employment employment a more comprehensive in evolution to solve other techno technical difficulty in defects. And we need to realize uh, automatic network slicing and flexible detection nose generation to design an uh, accurate detection algorithm and uh, gentle control coordination methods. Our ultimate goal is to get the fifth wide deployment in real network environment. Thank you for your time.